we out here fucking with the kid. Wait. Sharky is a rapper based out of Los Angeles, California. Being the only Asian from the Five Deuce Hoovers, Sharky has had quite the journey up until this point. From being shot to running all the fades at Wayside Supermax, he's built a name for himself in the streets of LA. And in today's episode, we're gonna take a dive into his career and also his earlier days in the streets. Before we get into the video, I just have to give a huge thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel. We're about to hit 30,000 subscribers and I can't believe how fast we got here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I'm dropping videos like this every single week. If you have a video idea for me, get at me on Instagram. But without further ado, do, let's get into it. Los Angeles, California is home to some of the richest people from around the world. With a population of about 4 million, LA is the second largest city in the United States and it's home to all kinds of people from different walks of life. And when it comes to melting pots, LA has got to be on the top of the list. People from all over the world come here to pursue their dreams of making it big in Hollywood, show business, or whatever the case is. But aside from all the fancy lights and prestigious zip codes like 90210, this city is surrounded by gang infested neighborhoods. But today, we're gonna be focusing on South Central. Sharky began his journey in the city of Bellflower, but would make his way to Crenshaw Pico in his earlier years, an area I like to call the outskirts of Koreatown. Sharky is half Korean and half Puerto Rican, and for this reason, apparently, the Koreans weren't too cool with him because he was, quote, not Korean enough, end quote. Growing up, Sharky didn't really have a relationship with his parents. He was mainly raised by his grandmother, and by the age of 13, he was already catching cases, possession of marijuana, driving without a license, and apparently because of this reason, he got a bunch of cars impounded. He attended university high school, but by his teens, he was already doing the camp sentence at Camp Munns. For anybody not familiar with what camp is, it's basically juvenile hall long term. But Sharky was definitely about his money early on, and this is when he would link up with the Five Deuce Hoovers. We ain't talking about no black guys. Remember me and Jay Rod used to run from the damn cops. My nigga gotta stay fly, nigga. We nigga top notch. Then kicking door, I gon' play you close now. Let that shit that get you smoke now. Yeah, yeah. Pull up clean, I'm staying gang. Pull that lean, I'm climbing you down. Now reach, I'ma teach you something. The Hoovers are one of the most notorious gangs that reside in South Central LA. They were formed back in the 1960s and since have created countless enemies from both blood and crip sets. Before the Hoovers adopted the color orange and started claiming criminal, they were once crips. You've got the 5 Deuce, 5 9, 7 4, 8 Trey, 9 Deuce, 107, and 112 Hoovers. But the 5 Deuce were the only set that remained crip and didn't adopt orange for their colors. The Five Deuce Hoovers are allied with the 5-1 Trouble Gangster Crips, and their main rivals are the Rolling 40s, 50s, and Main Street Mafia Crips. Between the years 2013 and 2015, there were over 100 killings in the Vermont area, and 22 of those being right in Hoover territory. Shout out to Street TV for this information, by the way. Hood Politics actually made a great video covering the Hoover and Main Street Mafia gang wars, so if you guys are interested interested in that little bit of history, I'm gonna have that video linked in the description below. Being from Hoover in LA has got to take a lot of heart. They have so many enemies compared to other hoods. By the time you're hitting the Wayside County Jail, you know for a fact you're gonna have some enemies in the dorm with you because 9 times out of 10, you will if you're a Hoover. Despite all of this, Sharky remained solid in the street and in jail, and he definitely had to earn his respect because not everybody from his hood fucked with them right off the jump. And just being the only Asian from a gang, you're gonna have a bunch of people that are gonna wanna test you. Sharky started fucking with the music from an early age. By the time he was in camp, he was already rapping. By the age of 19, he formed a rap group called So Tatted Boys, which consisted of Sharky, ICT, and Sunny D. They dropped their first song, which was Tatted Shit, but this group wouldn't last long. And by the age of 23, he would already have a lot of music with H Crown, another very well known member from the Five Deuce Hoovers. They dropped a number of songs together and also had an interview with Street TV. But as of right now, H Crown is currently fighting a hot one. 
so Sharky and Age Crowd haven't been able to make any new music as of lately. They were supposed to sign to Tyga together, but gang politics apparently fucked that one up. Needless to say, Sharky has had to deal with some bullshit situations out here in these streets. Apparently, his one of his baby mamas deleted 98 music videos off of his YouTube channel, which has got to suck because that's like a lot of work and you know a lot of shit goes into making a music video you got cameraman producer studio time anyway and on top of all that sharky got shot in september of this year manzo uploaded this entire clip to his youtube channel i'm not gonna play the clip here but if you guys are interested i will have it linked in the description below apparently sharky was just out to get some tacos and he got hit and he doesn't know where it came from it's a blessing that he's still here with us because to be from one of the most hated gangs in South Central and make it out the other side without ending up dead or in prison has got to say something. Sharky being the only Asian from his gang and probably the tattoos didn't help, he definitely stuck out like a sore thumb and that's not the best thing when it comes to the enemies and law enforcement. Be on the lookout for Sharky's future projects and it's nice to be able to say that about somebody in my video because let's face it, Death and prison are all too common when you choose this type of lifestyle. And it's nice to see a brother make it out the other side to pursue his passions. Be sure to leave a video and a like and leave something in the comment sections. But until next time, I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.